Bone marrow is a spongy tissue found in your bones. Inside the marrow of the pelvic bone, hips, ribs, skull, and spine are tiny spaces that contain stem cells. These primitive cells are able to grow into various types of blood cells including white blood cells called leukocytes, which fight infection, red blood cells or erythrocytes, which carry oxygen, and platelets, which enable the blood to clot and prevent excessive bleeding. White blood cells play an essential role in your immune system. Although there are five types of white blood cells, the two your bone marrow transplant team will mainly focus on are neutrophils, which account for about 60% of all white blood cells that move through your body, and lymphocytes that account for about 30%. Neutrophils play an essential role in keeping you healthy as they fight infection by surrounding and destroying foreign materials in your body. The absolute neutrophil count, or ANC, is very important, as it shows the percentage of neutrophils in your total white blood count. An acceptable ANC is above 1,000. If your count is less than 1,000, there is an increased risk for infection to develop. Depending on the type of chemotherapy and or radiation your physician prescribes, your absolute neutrophil count can drop to a range between 500 to 0 for several days and or weeks after your transplant. The transplant team will be closely watching your absolute neutrophil count throughout the transplant process. During this time, you may receive medication to help fight infection. Lymphocytes are another type of white blood cells that help you fight infections. Their numbers may remain low for months to years after transplant. Your doctor will be monitoring different types of lymphocytes and will tell you if there is a problem or concern. Lymphocytes and monocytes are other types of immune cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the body on a molecule called hemoglobin. A normal hemoglobin level is 12.0 to 14.0 for females and 14.0 to 16.0 for males. When your hemoglobin level is normal, you have enough energy to function daily. During the transplant, your hemoglobin levels will be watched daily, as it is not uncommon for you to have a decrease in energy and look pale. If you develop a low hemoglobin count, known as anemia, the treatment is a blood transfusion. Platelets are needed for clotting your blood, which prevents unnecessary bleeding and bruising. A normal platelet count is 150,000 to 450,000. When your platelet count is low, your risk of bleeding is high. Your platelets will be closely monitored to assess your risk of bleeding and to determine if a platelet transfusion is needed. White cells, red cells, and platelets each have different lifespans, so the need for transfusions may vary.